My name is Aisha Ibrahim. Many thanks for choosing us. We begin with Lance and Natural Resources Minister Kukwa Sumatreme, who has ordered the shutdown of the Ghana Manganese Company Limited until further notice. The closure, which takes effect from Monday, August 6, is in response to the company's inability to fulfill its financial obligations, which has resulted in over $300 million loss of revenue to the state. Sometime in January, the Ghana Manganese Company Limited was directed to halt its mining operations to enable the state undertake a thorough financial audit of its operations. The findings have confirmed huge losses to the state. For instance, estimated losses to government of Ghana for the period 2010 to 2017 based on fair pricing model utilizing best business practices open source data as well as information obtained from verifiable business intelligence centers include additional royalty taxes due additional royalty taxes due 12.8 million dollars additional corporate taxes due 79 million dollars Loss of dividends declared, $6.1 million. Additional revenue residing offshore for period 2010 to 2017. No transfer pricing audit performed prior to 2017, $259 million. The audit has also noted major infrastructural deficiencies as a result of GMCL operations. Primarily, road and rail infrastructures are stretched beyond capacity and are close to complete failure. Aside the findings of the audit report, there is also ample evidence of lack of compliance and circumvention of the local content policy or law following complaints to the ministry by local contractors. Ghanaian contractors, Ghanaian contractors providing services to GMCL are owned hundreds of millions of Ghana cities, even though the company continues to expand its export of manganese. Current figures available to the ministry suggest production and export excess of 3 million metric tons. There are also defaults by the company in the payments of annual mineral rights fees in excess of $4 million. These and several infractions, several other infractions, leave me no option as the sector minister than to close down the operations of GMCL until further notice. The company is therefore instructed to stop all mining, exploration, and export of minerals effective 6 August 2019. That is from tomorrow. The ministry, together with the Minerals Commission and other relevant stakeholders, will immediately commence discussions with Ghana Manganese to resolve these and all other outstanding issues in the course of the shutdown. 